Hello everyone, today I will show you how to edit your loot filter for Path of Exile 2. Before we begin, I want to say thank you to Siberian from the POE forums for posting a vanilla loot filter. We will be using his loot filter which shows all the drops as a base loot filter and learn how to adjust it to our likings by changing colors, size, hiding white and magic items and making the loot filter show a specific bases that we don't want to miss. To begin with, you should go to the forums and download the base filter that we will be working with and say hello from Buzzy. The link will be in the description. Now that you downloaded the filter, we can begin. To start, you should paste the filter in this folder, Documents, My Games, Path of Exile 2. As you can see, I already have it in here. Once you've done this, we're going into the game, Options, Refresh, and then you should see the Siberian POE filter. Click save and now the filter should be loaded. Now let's get into a map and see what the filter does. Okay, now we're inside a map. As you can see, it shows us blue items. Belts, jewels and amulets will be highlighted like this. And white items will be highlighted like this. We don't want to see any of the blue items and the white items. So let's get into it. We go back to the folder and open this. I am using Notepad++, but you can use the normal Notepad. It works the same. So once we are in here, you will be greeted with this. Now this can look a little bit scary, but don't worry. Everything is pretty straightforward. Let's look at the runes. Runes class is socketable. So the class is socketable. Let's go to gems. Class is a skill gem or a support gem. Let's look at currency, currency is stackable currency, as you can see here, everything is stackable currency, the same, waste stones are base type waste stone, and items, as you can see here, class, rings, amulets, belts, rarity, what rarity we wanted to show us, what font size we wanted to display, what border color, and Go to Legendary All, which is basically Unix. And now you can see Rare, Magic, and Normal Items. Socketed Items, Normal Socketed Items, so, uh, Magic Socketed Items, and Quality, Normal Items with Quality, Magic Items with Quality, and Rare Items with Quality. And Safety Features, we are not touching this. So, for example, we don't want to see any white items. We are going back here items and do normal instead of show we just edit it and do hide we don't want to see any socketed white items as well so hide if you wanted to show you socketed items you just keep it as show and quality same thing hide you go to file save and now let's get back into the game go to options reload the filter and let's throw the white item on the ground. As you can see, it disappeared. So for example, we want to do the same with magic items. We are going back here and do the same magic, hide, magic, hide, and magic, hide. Okay, now we've done everything again save go back to poe options reload the filter and now we don't see any blue items as well so let's say i want to see an advanced dual string bow so what we will do go back to the filter and up here you will make a new line we will type in show hashtag and then we will type in bows you don't have to type in bows, but it's just to make everything more organized. And then we're gonna write class equals bows. And for example, we wanted to show us the dual string bow. So we are going to do base type dual string bow advanced dual string bow and expert dual string bow 
okay now we want to send the font size we'll go set font size let's say 36 if you don't want to type it you can just take this and copy and paste it like this and we want to do save again go into the game reload and as you can see now it will display the blue item that we wanted and as you can see only the dual string bows will appear we can do the same with quivers so let's go back into the file and do show quivers now again after the show you don't have to type in quivers but it just to make everything more organized and easier to see we will do class equals quivers if you wanted to show all the quivers for example you don't need to type any base type and then it will show all the quivers that are available then you will just do set font size and set border color hit save options reload and as you can see now it will show us the quivers as well so let's say we want to change a color we will go we will open paint we will click on this thing and what we want to be looking at is the rgb so let's say i want it to be a purple color i'll go here and as you can see the values here those are the values that we are looking for we are going to do going back to the file and set border color we will keep it as is so we want different background so we'll do set background color and then we go back to paint look at the numbers 140 140 0 and 189 189 we hit save go back into the game reload and as you can see now it's a purple color now it doesn't show us anything in the minimap as you can see here nothing in the minimap if we want to see it in the minimap we will go back to our file we will write minimap icon 2 and let's say i want it to be a purple color so i will do purple and circle okay it's save the same go back to poe reload and as you can see now there's a small purple icon on the minimap let's say we want to make it smaller we will go back into the filter and set font size 30 for example hit save and the same options reload and as you can see it shrinked the same principle also applies to currency items so let's go to the hideout and take some currency to see what it does Okay, currency take some of those take some low tier ones okay let's go back into the map and drop them to see this color you can see the alchemy looks like this exalted look like this divine orb looks like this everything looks basically like in path of exile one let's say i want the exalted orbs to look differently because it looks kind of the same as the chaos orb and there's a difference between them so i'll pick everything up i will go back to the filter and the same thing applies we will go and look for currency as you can see currency section is here we will look for an exalted orb as you can see it's in tier 2 so if you want only the exalted orb to be in a different color we will cut this and go back to the top if you want a specific item to show always make sure that you go to the top of the row and we will do show hashtag exalted and then we will do class stackable currency we can just copy that we will do base type and exalted orb exalted orb and now we want 
set font size let's say 36 and now we want the color to be let's say green so we're going back to paint looking for a green color that we like i will take the dark green one so again these three values we're going to do set background color and then go back to paint look at the number three three one ten zero and if you want a border color let's just take this one for now but you can change these values later and let's say we want a minimap icon so we'll just copy this paste it minimap icon let's do two and green triangle hit save go back into our map and drop the exalted orb i forgot to reload the filter always reload the filter and now as you can see it's a green color and it's a triangle on the minimap now for example we wanted to display color once we drop it so let's drop this one as you can see nothing happens we will go back to our filter make a new line here and play effect green since everything is green themed here let's go with the green color we hit save go to the game options reload now let's drop it as you can see now there's a green beam coming out of it so you will know what dropped now for example we wanted to play a sound when it drops we will go back to our filter make a new line here and play alert sound copy this for example hit save back to poe reload and now when we drop it it will make a sound and you'll be able to know what dropped now for example we wanted to play a different sound when it drops so we will go back into our file and let's say switch this to 5 save reload drop it now you can hear it's a different sound and we can do this again so let's change it to 4 and you can experiment with this and see what works for you options reload the file and drop it as you can hear it's a different sound that basically covers everything now you know how to edit your own loot filter for path of exile 2 if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask me on the comments down below thanks everybody for watching and see you on the next one